In this demo, we are going to take a look at the activation of a new group of products, namely the Itigo cars in a node and its relocation to another node. To shorten the demo, we will act in a one-step process this time, meaning that no approval is necessary. A more detailed workflow is still available as it is in every object. If we now open up the product hierarchy search, we can take a look at the product hierarchy as it is right now. As you can see, you can by standard assign three levels of nodes, which can be defined individually for every customer. As the Tego cars are going to be a so-called subnode, which can be described as an endpoint of a product hierarchy, we are going to change the menu. When pressing on new, we can choose the type of workflow we wish our node to be approved with. As mentioned, for the sake of time, we'll use a one-step direct approval. We can now give a description of why we want to activate our node, which would simplify the communication between approver and requester. In the next step, a node ID is assigned automatically to the node and we can give a description for it. The description can, as always, be maintained in multiple languages, meaning that you are able to view and comprehend objects without changing the logon language. After having entered the description, we give a precise hierarchy assignment that indicates where your node will be placed. As a control function, you can open a short preview that allows you to check where your node will be placed. We now have successfully activated a new node within RDM. Now, for demonstration purposes, let's assume that your company produces miniature versions of those cars as toys, and you want to change this in the product hierarchy. All you have to do is change the hierarchy assignment of the node itself. Everything else will be taken care of. You can search for the node within your tree and choose the one-step request. As always, give a description of the request. And then change the assignment. After altering the hierarchy assignment, you can see that the node has been moved. In a last step, we are going to check on the data activation within the ERP system. The ERP system is one of the receiving systems to which the data is distributed. The activation of data in the ERP system is an easy process which involves a local staging area. The activation through the local staging area can be executed automatically. This ensures that every SAP system receives the same finalized data and therefore assures that your data is saved consistently.